perfect British cup of tea. Now this is the way I was taught to make tea by my grandma and it's really the classic um, way to make a British cup of tea. I'm going to use English breakfast tea which is rather uh, slightly delicate uh, tea, it's not as robust as, as red label teas but um, the, I think the most popular British brand is PG Tips uh, which is quite got quite a, all British tea tends to have quite a high um, ratio of Assam tea in it which is rather dark tea black tea um, but this one's uh, slightly more delicate and uh, lighter uh, so to speak but nonetheless a very British tea so there you go we get this one from Aldi and it's a, it's a diplomat brand English breakfast tea and it's very good and it doesn't break the bank so the first thing we must do is have a pot it's very important to have a teapot to make proper British tea and uh, you'll see inside it's still fairly tea stained and that's because when when we wash the pot we wash the outside but we tend not to wash the inside because we, we allow the character of the tea to build and then we just rinse that out because the only thing that goes in there is hot water and tea and when that gets emptied and swilled out then it just gets left to drain so that's another thing so the flavor and character of British tea also comes from the pot so the first thing my granny told me to do was warm the pot so we take boiled water and we pour in about a cup full and then we swill it round and also I'm setting that pot to boil again because it's important to use freshly boiled water to make your tea and you see what I'm doing I'm swilling that around and you'll probably hear my kettle boiling in the background now my granny had a swing trivet that went over the fire over the coals of the fire on which she put an iron kettle and uh, we used to sit there watching it over the embers of the fire glowing uh, until it boiled so there you are we can now tip that out I'm just tipping that out in the sink and for a teapot of this size I would use three tea bags uh, I would have used three or four teaspoons of loose tea back in the day and a tea strainer but these modern days are rather good they give us tea bags which do that job for us so uh, I'm now going to take my freshly boiled water and top up let me do it with this hand so you can see what I'm doing and top up my teapot that's enough for three and then I'm going to now cover it and let that stand for a minimum of three minutes so you've got to let the tea brew and you'll hear British people talking about the tea brewing now the next phase is when you pour the tea um, what we do in Britain and this was rather interesting because British people tend to put the milk in first so there you are I'm putting the milk in and it's a fairly generous amount of milk because we tend to like our milk as Brits um, it goes on the individual but most most Brits I think tend to like quite a lot of milk in their tea um, a rather interesting anecdote about this was during the uh, Second World War um, our spies were trained to go over to the to France to um, to spy on the Germans and they took their radio sets with them a lot of them were women and very very brave women at that um, the failure rate was terrible many of them were tortured to death but um, one of the ways they were caught was to do with the way they put their milk in their cup and on the continent in Germany and in France they tend to add the milk afterwards but in Britain we had it first and there were I think there was more than one spy caught because she put the milk in at the wrong time she did it in a, um, a way that identified her as British to anyone who knew so there we go um, right um, 
I'm just going to now lift the lid and give that to stir to speed along the brewing process. There we go. So I'm only using half a pot for those three tea bags. I would have used five for the whole pot, but because I'm only doing half a pot, I'm using three tea bags. And uh, we'll soon be ready to pour. Right. Um, now ready for pouring, the moment of truth. Let's just check. So there is a thing from where I am, is that tea is poured from a great height. That's a kind of a Midland and Northern thing. But your tea is generally poured from a great height. And the reason is, is because we like these little bubbles on top. It makes us feel at home. There you go. So we pour from a great height. So now you see the colour. This isn't a particularly dark or red tea. It's a rather delicate tea. Um, and there you go. That is what it looks like. Now you can add sugar at this point. Uh, you can add as many sugars as you like or none at all. I always like to give it a stir. And there's another little tradition about this as well. We stir anti-clockwise. Because if you look at that now you'll see it unwinds you. Enjoy. Oh yeah, one other thing that I didn't tell you about is there is this meme about us Brits actually lifting our little finger when we sip our tea. So we'll just try it, shall we? There are a few things as satisfying as a nice cup of tea. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.